Hello everyone and welcome back to a little more work on the high-low trailer. If you remember last time I had uh, taken out the city water hookup and had the new one ordered. It showed up here but of course it's not going to be all that easy. I had to get a couple more parts because this end is the same as that end right there but I did uh, find what I think will be a working solution for that. I was going to switch out the security bulb in here and when I was taking off that amber cover the top part shattered so I decided to go get a I was trying to get just the cover and then decided uh, screw it and just got a whole new light fixture itself I mean it was only like five dollars and I have a few other things I picked up too that I need to put on here so uh, let's get started so on this city water hookup here I needed the piece to you know it would go from from male to male and I like I said they didn't have it that bin was was uh, empty at the store so I ended up getting a piece like this they did have some of these this will go here this will go here and then I got a piece that will screw in right here and then I'll put a cap on it well so I thought that might be kind of neat too because this travel trailer here the sink is so short the amount of room between the 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 spigot and the bottom of the sink that if you wanted to with this in there you could actually have a hookup out here if you wanted to just run it and you could have a hose that you could get water from. I got a comment last time on my video that I did the Teflon tape wrong <laughs> and I actually did not last time I at least I tried to do it this way every time so I had to look it up to make sure what exactly am I doing wrong I don't trust that for a minute so I'm not going to screw that in like this until after I hook the water up and see if we have any leaks. That air conditioning is working really good in here today. Holy man, this nice. Well, I waited about five minutes here. I don't see anything dripping. I mean, this hose drips a little bit just from this connection right here, but uh, nothing else. This water that's running down here is coming from, well, I've got the sewer line just wide open when I run water inside there, and then the uh, air conditioner is dripping down the side of the uh, camper. So I think we're pretty good. I think we can put it in there and tighten it up, and the water is done. There you go. What do you think? That's water. That's water. I got one of these level sets because when I do set the travel trailer, I do use these. I, I really like them. Bring me the light. And here's that new light that I got. Like I said, it was I don't think it was under five dollars, so it wasn't bad. He's always been super scared to come in here and would cry and he just stood there outside the door for the longest time and now look at him. <laughs> you like it in here now, don't you? <laughs> you think the ducks can see us? I think because this high low trailer goes up and down and there's like a gasket up in there I'm gonna have to put this level thing below here that gasket might hit it on its way down so I'll put it down here and then over here I've got plenty of room to put it below that stopper right there the trailer is a little bit out of level so I have to set this the same way Mm. 
these only get you roughly close, but they keep your baked potato from rolling off your plate when you're having to have supper. Uh, came with an incandescent bulb and I bought those other uh, LED bulbs that are supposed to be brighter and I think this is every bit as bright as the incandescent so I'm gonna leave that in there less power I need to get one more tube of clear caulking and I'll run a bead around that thing right there and I'm gonna run one around the water thing here because it didn't come with any gasket so I'll just put one all around the edge there and it should be watertight I have one more thing here to see if it works uh, most of the stuff here I Usually I will stop in, I'll get this stuff online or else I'll stop in at RV World, which is right down the road. But I was coming home from work and there's a camping world and I had never been to a camping world before. So I stopped in there. Man, you don't want to go there with a full checkbook. They had everything. It was just amazing. So I ended up finding this little knob because this window didn't have a knob. And uh, well, it looks like it fits. And uh, I got the light there. I also got those level things there. I could have spent a lot of money there. I'm glad I wasn't there with Melissa. <laughs> I called her and said, we can't go there together. Um, it was like, it was a lot of nice stuff there. All right, well, it's already 8 o'clock at night here. I'm supposed to be on Skype with Melissa right now. I still have to do chores, take a shower. So I'm going to close it up for tonight, the Hilo, and uh, tomorrow or whenever the next day I have a chance, we'll go in there. Now it's time to start cleaning the thing out. She's just about done. Good morning, everybody. I'm back out here on the high-low trailer this morning. I just went up to the store and picked up a few things, a couple of cleaners. I got some of these bins because now I'm getting extra bulbs, you know, the new LED ones, and I'm keeping the incandescent ones because they still work. If one were to burn out, we could use that. Fuses, stuff like that. I just needed something to put it in. I picked up a power strip because the trailer only has two inside plug-ins, so it'd be nice to have this in a drawer because you know there's, at one point there's going to be more than that that needs to be plugged in. I also picked up some more of this here, which is it's pipe insulation. I don't even think I've really talked about this yet. There's a gasket on these trailers about two and a half inches up inside of here. When that comes down, the gasket seals right here, keeping anything from getting up in there. And when it comes up, there's another rail that goes across right here where it's supposed to seal up there also. So there was a couple of places where I could actually see daylight. This is one of them. I don't think you can see it. But anyway, that would be a place where mosquitoes can come in here. Most of the places are pretty good, but there's just a few spots. So it would be completely... I don't even know where you would get that uh, actual gasket that goes in there. Hilo, they don't make hilos anymore. So this was a really cheap solution to have these and then just tuck them down in here when you get the trailer up in those few spots and you don't have any trouble with any bugs and it costed about five dollars. So what I'm going to start doing today is get things organized and start cleaning stuff up. The floor is a mess and uh, just kind of work my way toward uh, the door and hopefully eventually she'll be all ready to go. Well, I got this stuff that takes the dirt and oil off of the woodwork and then some stuff that's like a scratch cover and oil to put on there. I'm just trying to see if it dresses these up at all. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go through the time to take everything off and re-sand it down because these never meet, uh, match this anyway. So anyway, I'm going to see what it does on that one because this looks kind of blotchy. Even though it's not rough at all, I'm just going to try it. Just see what it looks like.
And this stuff here is just the cleaner. It really does take some of the dirt off there. I already cleaned these once too, so anyway, I'll let that dry for a little bit and then we'll put some of that oil stuff on and see what it looks like. Pretty nice. It's got a few little nicks in it from use, but that's it. Let's see what happens on this door here. This is what that stuff is. Well, all of these look much better, but we'll see what it looks like in a half hour, although it's been at least 20 minutes on this one already. We'll see if it holds it on or not, or if it gets blotchy again down there. Well, I think I'm going to run in and have some lunch here, but that stuff, that what is it, the old English scratch cover or whatever, it really does make it look a lot nicer. We'll see how it lasts. I mean, it is oil, so it should soak in and kind of hydrate the wood also. This plug in here for the air conditioner, the end that's on the actual black cord, I don't know if you can see down in there, but anyway, it doesn't stay plugged in. If you slam the door, it'll come unplugged. So I bought a new end, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I think I'll get this put on right away because I can still play around in the trailer even if it's raining out. Try to cut up in here to keep this cord as long as I can. Before I did that, I put that oil stuff on this door here. I still have these two to do, but look at the difference in those two. All these down here still look good. It's been a good hour and a half now since I put that stuff on. I have all the wood done now on this whole side of the trailer, the whole kitchen area. And then I looked up here and I had forgot I got those doors to do. Well, I got the floor all washed here, bleached, uh, and Melissa and I looked at this before. I mean, it's got cuts and some gouges in it. Over here, we've got rust stains. Something must have been on the ground that got wet there. And we talked about putting new linoleum in here, which would be pretty easy to do. I've done it several times, and now you don't even have to glue it down, so it's even easier. But I guess I thought about it. She said, why would we want to do that? We're just going to be coming in here. We're not going to be taking off our shoes. We're going to be like down at Grand Isle where it's sandy. You're going to have to sweep it out every day. Might as well just leave it like this because whatever you put in here is just going to get scratched up and ruined anyway.
Well, now that I got everything cleaned up and finished in here, I'm going to go ahead and finish. I did the bathroom floor with that stuff that puts a little bit of a shine to it and protects it. I'm going to do the rest of the floor because you're not supposed to walk on it for 30 minutes. And then I'll be done in here for tonight. Okay, everybody. Well, for tonight, I'm done out here. See you guys when I come out here next time. Check that out. I just get everything taped off and look at that one green blob coming right at me. While I sit and wait for the threat of rain to pass, I come in here and make me up some jambalaya. I'll let that dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to shoot it with another coat. All right, well, I got all this painted here, and I got this step done. I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and do this back bumper, pull off the uh, oh, the housing over the tire so I can do that piece too. I wasn't even really going to do the back, but I think I better do it now because all that other stuff looks really nice. Might as well get this all looking the same. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I'm back out here this morning. I just ran up to the store and bought another can of paint. And now if I can get this back part all painted up, all my painting will be done.
to change the tire on this thing you need a 13 16 wrench and you need a little or socket and you need a little quarter inch wrench to get that little bolt out for the spare tire so I'm just gonna wire these two together and put it right in the travel trailer right now because I always have a my uh, toolbox with me but if I'm down in Louisiana and we're driving Melissa's truck uh, we might not have one so at least this will be right in the actual trailer just in case well that bumper is still a little bit tacky so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before I put everything back together and I suppose in a little bit I might as well put some of that compound in the little buffing wheel on there too because it really did clean up the front pieces pretty nice I think the only thing I have left to do is I have to cut these things and number them so when a person sets up the camper you can shove them in there and it'll be easy. You don't have to sit there and think about it. Well, I think that about does it for the high-low trailer. I'm short one of these pieces right here so I'll have to pick up one more. Other than that it's ready to travel south. There's one more thing I'm going to do here. Melissa and I want to have a TV in here in case we're camping and it's raining we can put in a DVD and watch a movie and we're kind of wondering what size and I have a 32 inch in my room and I think that's going to be the right size for here and she's worried that it might be a little bit too big so I'm going to bring it in here and see what it looks like when it's set up. Well, I sent Melissa the video of it sitting on the counter, and I sent her a picture of it sitting on the far side of the table, and then I sent her a picture, or a video, whatever it was, of it. She, well, she asked me if it could sit up on this shelf, and it does, and she seems to like that, so I guess that's the right size TV for here. Well, that just about does it for the Hilo series for now. I still have to fill up the two propane tanks. And even though they don't make Hilos anymore, I can still get this part right here, which is gonna be critical. Because I, you can't be stuffing something in the door all the time for bugs as many times as you're gonna be going out. You get this piece right here, and it comes with this piece right here. So I'm gonna order that and put that in here, I suppose within the next couple of weeks. One thing I did learn with the high-low, after lots of searching, this is the part that runs bringing it up and down, and you have to pull this lever. Once that red light comes on, you can then run the switch. And if your battery is not at least 85% charged, you can't pull this, and that light won't come on. And I was like, oh no. But anyway, I had unplugged the whole camper and the battery had drained down, so once it got charged up, everything worked good again. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, unless I decide to spend a night in the high-low and do a video on that here to see if the bugs get in or what, the next video is going to be me backing up the one-ton diesel, heading down to Missouri to meet Melissa with the high-low. We will end up spending a night or two in the high-low and then hook this up to her truck and she's gonna bring it the rest of the way down to Louisiana, just past St. Louis, Missouri. That's about a halfway down. I'll see you guys on the next video.